Aloha, everyone. I'm Gloria Boiso, and I'm here with my good friend, Vicki Strickland. And I'm so excited to be here today, to be here with Vicki, to be of service to Vicki, and hopefully to help all of you as I help Vicki. So what I'll be doing today is what I call connecting. I connect with the depths of Vicki's soul. I connect with the celestial kingdom. And I assist Vicki in moving forward more gracefully, with more ease, and getting to the core of whatever's going on with her so she knows the truth of it. And then giving her practical ways to create steps in her life that actually help her move forward with that at whatever places that she's stuck in. So, and I'll do that by beginning with deep breaths. I always start with heart breaths. I ask people to focus in on their heart. It gets us very open and grounded and ready for whatever's coming up. And then I'm gonna say a quick prayer. And since I've been working with Vicki for some time, I know that she's comfortable with however I'd like to pray. Mm -hmm. I always ask folks what their belief is and I honor what their belief is before I pray. Mm -hmm. So for those of you watching, this will just take a couple of minutes, and then I'll move right into focusing in on Vicki's energy. It's as if I'm zooming in, in a with radar into Vicki and who she is, or as if I'm tuning into a radio station and I'm tuning into Vicki station. And I'm asked Vicki beforehand, do you want to focus on a particular issue or do you want me just to go into your energy and see what's up? And Vicki said, just go in my energy and see what's up. So that's what we'll be doing today. Okay. Okay, Vicki, are you ready? Ready. Okay, we'll begin with a couple of deep breaths. Breathing in deeply together now. Slowly exhaling, allowing ourselves to be fully present right here, right now. Another deep breath in. And a slow exhalation. Beloved creator of all that is, we thank you for this opportunity to come together on behalf of Vicki's evolution, on behalf of the evolution of all that is. I ask that you enfold us in your glorious white light, your miracle mantle of protection. I ask that Vicki receive exactly what she need in this point in time to serve her greatest and highest good. I ask to be a pure vessel receiving information from the depths of Vicky's soul and from the Most High. And I sing praises of glory. Thank you, beloved. Hallelujah. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Okay, Vicki, I want you just to focus in on your heart for a moment. You may want to take a breath and give me just a moment as I zoom in on your energy. Okay, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Immediately, Vicki, I see a picture and there I get shown pictures sometimes so that I can explain in a very concrete way, a very helpful way. And what I'm seeing immediately, it's like you're sitting at a desk and it's really not about the papers, but here's what I'm seeing. You're going, no more, 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 no more. And you're shedding, 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 shedding. <laughs> Is that a laughter of recognition? <laughs> yes, it is. But you you always amaze me. You always have. You always will. That's your gift. That's why it means a lot to me for you. So you're fed up with what you don't want. You're not willing to tolerate anything that's not in alignment with who you really are. You're done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I yell it, but it'll get the dogs all worked up. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. Thank you, dear. It's, you know, it's the glory of all that is, right? Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. So let me listen to that a moment.
what's happened, Vicki, is you've allowed yourself, dear, to go a little too long with tolerating. Mm -hmm. And you're, so that's why you're at a place where you're frustrated, where mm -hmm. you're aggravated, where you're, it's like you've hit a place where it's like a hitting a running into a brick wall. Mm -hmm. I've hit the wall. You've hit the wall. Yeah. Yes. And dear, you really better listen. Okay. You really better listen. Okay. Because if not, what happens when we're complete with something or when we're ready to change something, when we're ready to move forward, whatever that may look like, and if we feel it in every fiber of our being, and we're getting signs all over the place like you are now, and we continue to do what we've been doing or live how we've been living or tolerate what we've been tolerating, then it's just going to blow up bigger. Mm -hmm. And it will feel harder. And you will find yourself becoming more restless, uh, more frustrated, almost like, there's a conflict that's not being settled. Mm -hmm. Or I guess it is that, a conflict not being settled. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So you're being asked to begin to take steps. And you don't have to take a big old giant leap and totally freak out your nervous system. <laughs> you can take baby steps. And okay. sometimes a baby step is all our soul needs the eternal part of who we are to begin relaxing, knowing that the change is happening. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to happen all at once. Everything doesn't have to change, but you need a sign that you're listening and you're abiding. So I'm going to ask what your first step is. Okay. Or why don't I wait for a moment? And instead of doing that, I want to ask you, do you have a question or a thought you'd like to share first? No. Um, one thing I did do, I've always loved to write, and I've always thought I was good at writing, but I never probably had enough belief in my ability to do that. So I did sign up for this. It's kind of informal, but I, I signed up for a writer's club. Oh, wonderful. And, and they kind of like I've been wanting to do uh, articles on our Airbnb travels because they've been really interesting. They're, you know, they're really affordable. There's great uh, amenities and people can travel on a budget and, and stay in some really wonderful places for $30, $40 a night rather than spending 200. And so I've been wanting to write some articles on that. I've taken some, some pictures where we've gone and just really want to uh, always wanted to write a book. And so I'm, I'm taking a step with that with this writer's club to put myself out there and write some stuff and see what they have to say. That's wonderful, Vicki. I'm so happy to hear you're doing that because your soul's going, ooh, okay now. So that's beautiful. That's a glorious first step you're taking, truly Good. is. I'm glad you're listening that way. So what you want to look at now, say that's your first step. Let's okay. move on to your second step then because you're ready, okay? If you weren't ready, I'd say, let's just stop now and you work on that. But it feels like you need to take a little step farther so that you don't find yourself frustrated. Mm -hmm. So think about something that you no longer want to tolerate. Like you're just okay. completely done with that thing, whatever it is. Okay. You don't have to tell me or you can tell me. Okay. Which, it doesn't matter. So... What you want to do is think of that one thing that you're just knowing inside yourself you want to let go of, or you want to change, or you want to think differently about. Do, do okay, you... probably it's this part-time job I have. Okay. Because, um, I had an opportunity to go full-time and be a, a merchandising coordinator. And uh, the manager told me it was between me and another guy. And the other guy has no background. He just puts, he's a great guy, but he, well, I don't really know him. He doesn't talk. So he doesn't have social skills, bless his heart. And, and he has none of the background and experience I have two years. And he told me he's going to promote him instead because he needs another guy on the floor. And I'm done with this part-time job that they make promises they don't keep or they don't value. 
people that they should value. So I'm kind of over this part-time job. Okay. So are you wanting to just quit it? Um, I'm kind of looking elsewhere to see, I have a transition so that um, I support part, being part-time employed, but I'm looking at uh, other options. Okay, so what you want to do is be very active with that. It feels like you haven't been real active with it yet. Well, I haven't had time and I just found out about it in oh. the last couple of days. So like tonight, I'm gonna go online and, uh, and look and apply to a bunch of places. Okay, good. And then I feel like if I, I can work part time and then I'll still have time to work on the writing and kind of um, explore that. So it feels like what would serve you well Vicki is to create a new kind of schedule and it's a schedule where you I'm not kidding that you block off your week mm -hmm. and put in there in fact I have something I used to use in a course I taught years ago I may even have it on my computer I'll look to see and I can send it to you oh that'd be great be yeah, you block off time and you can even color it in. I, I like the idea of different colors for different um, topics. So, for mm -hmm. example, uh, you color in green. It, it's, it, it squares with time on the side. Mm -hmm. And you color in your week. So, yellow could be creativity. I want you to have creativity time scheduled in every single week. I'm telling you, dear, it will make a huge difference. For it, it does because this job is, it's 12 to four, Monday through Friday. So it's in the middle of the day. So the morning, you know, I have to, so I get up and I do all the other stuff, you know, yeah. take care of the dogs, laundry. And I feel like by the time I get that, I try to get my walk in because I need that physical movement. And then I feel like, you know, when I get home, I'm feeding them and go, going to the grocery store and cooking. So I will do that. That would really help me. I would say a minimum of three days a week, you allow yourself creativity time. Okay. Or it could be writing. It could be specifically writing. Mm -hmm. Writing, writing, writing. So that your soul knows that you're serious about it. Now, when you think about a part-time job, get real clear before you even begin looking. Please sit down and write, what is it that you're wanting in an environment, in uh, the way you want to share your skills. Mm -hmm. um, if yeah, I, like, I like people. I like to have fun. I'm very social. Um, and I'm very dedicated to whatever I do. Whatever I do, I, I always try to be the best that I can with it. I, I know that about you, dear. And it's a beautiful attribute that you have. Um, don't limit what you think the possibilities are. I'm even feeling like instead of looking for what's out there, you could do that as, as a way to do it. But you could also think about what you want. And I get a sense that you're, you could actually create a way of doing something you want that you may not be thinking of. Think outside the box, Vicki. Okay. Think outside the box. Because the more you think outside the box for part-time employment, the happier you're going to be with, that, with whatever you end up doing. Oh yeah, I'd be happiest probably doing my own thing on my own and helping people with that. But well, I act, that actually feels more in alignment with you. But if you feel like you have to do something, get a paycheck, so to speak, where. But if you were to trust yourself completely, I get that you would just do fun stuff and make things happen, and that would be your part-time employment, like having a camp or something. Mm hmm. You know, it really feels like something where you work with parents and teachers and do fun games. and But yet, these games are building relationships. It feels like there could be some place that has some kind of camp. In fact, you may look up uh, Dr. Tim. Well, he's in St. Louis, Missouri. No, that won't work for you. Okay, I thought of someone that does these really cool camps that I could see you involved with that. You know, but I could Google that here because I'm sure there's a lot of that. Like here in Safety Harbor, where we are, I know there's camps down here with the kids kayaking and they fish off the pier. You would and love I know that, that, wouldn't you? Yeah, and I did that, you know, for a lifetime. Yeah, and it, it feels like it's more your own thing. So you want the opportunity. So, for example, I'm going to use myself so we can move away from your energy just a moment. You can get a sense of what happened. I got a strong message that I was to work part-time 
and I want, at the time I was doing hypnosis. So I got this fax. I, I heard go home and there'll be a fax. So I went home and, there, and that's back in the day when people used to get faxes, right? Mm -hmm. And I had a fax and sure enough, there was something that I hadn't ever noticed before from a place called Positive Changes Hypnosis. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'm supposed to work there. So I called them and I, I told them my name and I asked to speak with the owner and they weren't there. And I ended up speaking with their daughter and I said, now, I want you to see how I'm doing this, Vicki. This is important that you get, you can create an opportunity. When you hold it inside yourself, dear, when you know it with every ounce of who you are, that you know what you're supposed to do and you know you can do it and you know you have the qualities to do mm -hmm. it. You're not BSing anybody. It's inside of you. It's who you are. I knew that, you see. I talked to the daughter, you know, I said to her, Hi, I'm Gloria. I'm a hypnotherapist. I do NLP. I teach. And I'm supposed to work here. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, she thought it was a little Looney Tune. But you know what? And she, well, while her parents weren't there, I waited for her parents to get back. I called two or three times. I didn't give up because I knew. And I talked with their parents and told them the same thing. I'm supposed to work here. And she said, well, you know, we thought about hiring somebody. You really don't mind teaching. We really need someone to teach courses. I said, I love teaching. You're comfortable in front of, I love that. You know, you can do NLP. Of course. It's hypnosis. Well, they did a, a, a something that brought NLP and hypnosis together. Nice. And so I was very qualified. But Vicki, I want you to understand, dear, that what I did, I couldn't have done. Had I not decided, I would not work part-time other than doing exactly what I wanted to do. And that the universe, this wonderful, glorious universe that is a, only abundance, can give it to me if I can hold it inside of me. So in every job I've ever gotten, I've called the principals back and said, hey, when do you want me to come in? Because I'm the perfect person for the job. And you know what? The universe, I wasn't supposed I, If If that would have been me in that meeting with the manager, I would have said, that's a big mistake. You need to hire me instead, you know, because I'll do a hundred percent better job. I can do anything and you know that. And I, and I didn't do that. I just said, okay. Well, the truth is you don't want to work there for full time. No, that's true. <laughs> so it's perfect. You see? <laughs> okay. Um, so what I would suggest you do in the morning when you wake up, I know you have things to do, but do you have a little bit of time where after you feed the dogs, you can sit down and have, say, ten, five, ten minutes to yourself? Absolutely, yeah. And I can schedule, uh, I can set an alarm and get up at a certain time. I'm not a sleeper, and I'm usually up by seven, but yes, oh. I could easily do that. Okay, if you'll just take five to ten minutes, breathe in deeply, get very centered, very grounded, Relax your body if you need to, and then visualize you having exactly what you want. And, and not try to put in too many details. You can tell if you're putting in too many details if you start feeling uh, anxious about it or wondering how it's going to happen. Just be, let it be nebulous. Let it just, I know I want to use my creativity. I want to help people. I want to have fun. I know I want to do my own thing. I want an opportunity to do my own thing. I want to be paid for it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, Perfect. that kind of thing. And you just hold it and feel the feelings as much as you possibly can of it happening now, as if it's right here happening inside of you, inside okay. that powerful mind you have, that okay. powerful imagination. And you know, as I know, that universe doesn't know the difference between that which is real and that which we imagine if we can hold it within us. Right. That's your most important step for you to do. That's what I did. I was imagining I was having the perfect opportunity before all that took place with that hypnosis okay. clinic. Okay. You can do the same. That's your most important work right now. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Any questions or thoughts? No, thank you. Thank so you. if you get on the internet, dear, and you start looking for opportunities, you're going to get swayed to do something you don't really want to do. If you can hold the intent inside of you every day for five, ten minutes, every morning when you, when you wake up before you get, 
stressed or cluttered with the day's thinking. Do you right. see? It would be beautiful if you could just wake up and take in some deep breaths and feel it right then before you even get out of bed and then maybe do a little bit more later. Okay. That would be perfect. So you may even want to do it as you fall asleep at night. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Or when I wake up in the night. Yeah, yeah. when you wake up in the night, night, you breathe in deeply and say, and you get curious. I wonder how the universe is going to pull this off. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> so if you have this feeling of it happening now and you're filled with excitement, you're filled with eager anticipation and you're allowing your curiosity to just be stimulated, wondering what the universe is going to do. I believe within two weeks, three tops, that perfect opportunity will be right there waiting for you. Absolutely. I feel that too. Good. Good. So any other questions or thoughts? No, dear. Thank you. Such a blessing. So just to reiterate, do your imaginings of exactly the opportunity you want okay. and create a schedule where you color in your time and you make sure you have writing time. Okay. All right. <laughs> love. Thank you, Vicki. All right. Love you, honey. Oh, I love you too, dear. And everyone, thank you so much for watching this mini session with Vicki here today. Please note that when I do um, a real connecting session, this is real, but uh, a regular timed connecting session, it goes about an hour and we go much deeper. But for today, to show all you what connecting can do, I, I'm doing a mini session. And please, um, go to my website. I have free gifts there, folks. So get your free gifts. And I have one that's perfect that's about imagining your dream life and having it. So, Vicki, you may want to go there and get that if you haven't already. All right, thank you. Okay, everyone. Thank yes, you. I so love that. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs>